Hey guys, it's been a while. Welcome back everybody to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Tracing. And as you can see, I've moved. Things have been pretty quiet on the channel here lately. That's because I've been busy getting things organized up here and finally the dust has settled and I'm ready to get back into it now. Here lately the channel has been gaining some momentum and I want to keep that going. So welcome everybody new here and thank you everybody else for sticking around. We just passed 175 subscribers and that's, that's more than I could ever imagine that we would get here. I, it just makes me happy knowing that there's people out there that loves this stuff just as much as I do. So today's date is December 16th, 2018. And as some of you may know, tonight's the night when the comet 46P or Tannen is going to be visible to the naked eye. Tonight, 46P is making its closest approach to Earth in over 20 years. It's going to be located close to the Pleiades star cluster, so it's not I'm going to attempt to get both of them in frame. So it's not I'm going to be using the same setup as I've been using on everything else, the Skywatcher Star Adventure with the Canon T5i and the 75 to 300 millimeter lens attached to it. Now as you can see, I now live in the middle of town, so it's going to be pretty hard for me to image here. But thankfully, I have a buddy who lives pretty far out of town, so that's where I'm going to start going to do some imaging. And I've been looking at the map, and it looks like it's about 4 to 3, 4 to 4 skies out there, and it's very big sky country. So I'm really excited to see what we can see out there. So I'm hoping our skies clear up. The National Weather Service and Clear Sky Outside is both saying that these clouds are going to start leaving here this afternoon. So, time will tell. Well, it's currently about 6.30 in the evening now, here on December 16th, and the clouds were supposed to clear out. But, I'll just give you a quick look outside here. And this is what we have. So here we are now, about 24 hours later, and our luck's finally turned around. So it's looking like tonight I'll finally be able to shoot. We got some really clear skies out, and it's actually pretty warm. So my plan tonight is just to take out the Star Adventure. I'm just going to leave the Dobson here at the house because after working all day, I really don't feel like lugging it down three flights of stairs. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to go ahead and double check, make sure I have everything packed up here. And then I guess I'm gonna get ready to hit the road. All right, now I've double checked everything and we should be ready to go. Now, one thing I really do like about the Sky Star Adventure here is that it's super portable. I just leave it on the tripod all the time. So, whenever you're ready to go and image, you can just throw this bad boy in the back of your car and you're ready to go. I just now pulled up and got here to my buddy Mitchell's house. Like I said, he has some property out here in the middle of nowhere. And man, this sky is clear. We do have about a, just a little over a half moon that we're contending with, but that shouldn't be an issue. But right here, we've got Pleiades and Orion. Now I finally kind of got everything set up here. I'm about to start on the polar alignment process. I've got Polaris pretty much here directly over my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this headache started. All 
all right now I've double and triple checked my polar alignment so things are looking pretty good as you can see here I'll post a screenshot of exactly what I'm looking at through the Star Adventure polar scope the polar scope in this thing is kind of hard to set up it's just really tedious but then again the Star Adventure is a budget equatorial rig so I work with what I got here so it's time to go ahead and get things balanced out and go ahead and find our target all right, so I finally got my shot framed up now, and actually where Tannen turned out to be a little bit further away from Pleiades than what I initially thought, but thankfully with my sky chart on my phone, I was finally able to track it down. So the frame is actually going to be further out than what I thought. I think I'm shooting about 150 millimeters right now, but I'm finally popping off shots. I'm trying two minute subs right now. I had some success with a minute and a half, so we'll try two minute subs, and we'll go from there. So let's see what we can get. All right, I just got things packed up for the night. I did get one really nice shot there at the end that I think is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and head on home. Start in on the editing process, and we'll see where we'll get from there. Now it's time to hit the road and get home. All right, so now it is Tuesday night and I'm just now kind of really looking through my images and overall I'm actually really happy with them and honestly that's the first time I've ever even seen the comet much less imaged one so I did run into a few issues really one being the uh, moonlight it did kind of interfere with the images here hopefully I can edit some of that out and also dew dew is one thing I've battled a lot with uh, over my short time of doing astrophotography and actually just this morning I ordered a little dew heater for my camera so hopefully that's going to make a pretty big difference and yeah I'm looking forward to hopefully getting Andromeda soon it got away from me last season but I'm hoping Andromeda's going to be the next one and maybe Triangulum Galaxy after that I don't know I'm probably getting ahead of myself but anyways guys thanks for stopping by as always thanks for tuning in be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to leave a like comment on the video and as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy.